Yeah, so I mean, in a, in a digital world, this digital world that we live in now, experiential is super important. It's almost, you know, the more important digital gets, on the same side, the more important experiential gets, especially for a company such as ours, such as Nike, that, you know, is about athletic footwear and apparel and really, you know, selling that to the to the culture. So from a culture standpoint, consumers still want to touch and feel your product. They still want to interact with your product in a real physical way. So it's great to have all the digital stuff, you know, and, and, and that's always going to expand. But a consumer's always going to want to touch and feel and, be, you know, go through a visual experience with you in a real way. So just as the boundaries are being pushed on the digital side, we're also pushing boundaries on the experiential side. So you think about, you know, the stuff that, you know, going on at World Cup in Moscow now, the stuff we do at All-Star Weekends and how that is, the bar is raised on those every year. You know what I mean? Because, again, as the culture is pushed forward on the digital side, we still need to push the culture forward as well on, on the experiential side. So from a sneaker perspective, definitely the retailer landscape is, is changing drastically and it is following, you know, the trend of the culture. So this direct to consumer model where consumers want something directly and they want to basically take out the middleman is a real thing. So from a retailer standpoint, you have to figure out a reason why a consumer would have to come into your store or even go to your site to purchase something. So there's basically two ways you could look at that. I mean, from my perspective, the first is product. So it's really segmenting product and allocating product in a, in a smart way, right? So part of it is, you know, a consumer is going to buy the new off-white Prestos or whatever. So you or us as a company can allocate those to where you want them to be. So it's really driving the consumer to a specific place to buy the product you want them to buy. That's one part. And then from a retailer standpoint, it's really creating authentic touch points or experiences that make a consumer want to come and purchase that product from you specifically. So I think it's, it's twofold that way. Part of it is a product conversation, part of it is an experience conversation. And both of those have to come together in a real way for a retailer to, to sustain itself in this new world. Because, you know, everybody from Toys R Us to, you know, um, Academy Sporting Goods, like everybody's going out of business now because they're trying to figure out that model. If you don't, this direct to consumer model is, is gonna swallow you, basically. Video is super important in this new age of marketing because that is really um, a touch point for a consumer where you can express uh, an experience to them in a, in a way that's directly, you know, focused on what they're looking for. So if they can't or if they're not going into the actual store from a purchasing standpoint on a sneaker side, you can kind of curate an experience for them specifically through a digital format, through video. So video, you know, you talk about touch points as our, our experiences that make a consumer feel a certain type of way. And video is actually a, a great way to do that. It's actually a super important way to do that moving forward because people are consuming video all the time now or that's on their digital device or however they're getting it. So you have to talk to them in that in that light. So, I mean, there's a huge difference, um, an engagement difference from a video versus a static image because a video, it helps evoke emotion. It helps bring a consumer to a certain place a lot more efficiently than, than a still image will. So when a consumer sees a video, they're more apt to engage with it, comment, like, repost, et cetera, because it's taking them somewhere. It's expressing an idea or a thought in a more vivid way than, than just a static image would.